Video from a traffic stop involving Delaware State University's lacrosse team is sparking outrage. Georgia police searched their bus and luggage for drugs in what the university called a humiliating process. Eyewitness News anchor Siafa Lohr spoke with the team's coach about what happened. Siafa. Good evening, Yuki. The incident took place on Wednesday, April 20th, as Delaware State's women's lacrosse team traveled home on a chartered bus after playing three games in Georgia and Florida. We should mention that Delaware State University is one of the country's historically black colleges and universities. Most of the coaches and players on that bus were black. The male bus driver was also black. He was pulled over for driving in the left lane and was asked to step out of the vehicle. That's when the team's head coach, Pamela Jenkins, says they noticed something peculiar. One of my student athletes says they have dogs going through our things. And we're all like, what? So we go all we go to the side of the bus and we're looking and they're pulling our luggage out from underneath the bus and they have a dog there sniffing through the bag. It was only after the police dogs had already begun sniffing those bags that officers came onto the bus to address its occupants as captured by one of the player's cell phones. You guys are on a lacrosse team, correct? Yes. So if there is something in there that is questionable, please tell me now. Um, because if we find it, guess what? We're not going to be able to help. For nearly 30 minutes, the officers tore through the bags, pulling out some of the women's underwear and even unwrapping a gift given to one player by her aunt in Georgia. I was upset at the accusatory tone of the officer. Um, it was known that we were a lacrosse team. Honestly, scared. I, you know, I tried to stay composed to lead by example. The university's president, Dr. Tony Allen, issued a lengthy statement which reads in part, we do not intend to let this or any other incident like it pass idly by. We are prepared to go wherever the evidence leads us. We have video, we have allies, perhaps more significantly, we have the courage of our convictions. Both Dr. Allen and head coach Pamela Jenkins say they could not be more proud of the way in which the young athletes carried themselves with grace and self-respect both during and following the incident. Coach Jenkins hopes no one else will have to go through what her team just did. In the newsroom, Siafa Lewis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Siafa, thank you.